Let's write a C program using macros. So here is our problem statement. Write down macro definitions for the following. So the first one, to find arithmetic mean of two numbers. Second one, to find absolute value of a number. Third one, to convert an uppercase alphabet to lowercase. Fourth one, to obtain the biggest of three numbers. So these are simple programs. If we club all these into a single program, of course it will look very lengthy. Okay, so let's look one by one. So we need to find arithmetic mean of two numbers. Assume A and B are those, are those numbers. So add those numbers and divide it by two. Two because we have two numbers here. That would give arithmetic mean of two numbers. So the second one, to find absolute value of a number. Assume that we have a landscape, zero to five, zero to minus five. A person is standing at zero and walks through zero to five. That's five units of distance, right? The same person is standing at zero and walks in the other direction. 0 to 5, minus 5. Still the distance covered is 5 units, not minus 5 units. So whatever the number user inputs, we need to give him back a positive number. And absolute value input should always be uh, integer and not fractions. Now to convert uppercase letter to lowercase, it all depends upon the ASCII value. So ASCII value of capital A is 65 and it continues like that. And ASCII value of Z is 90. Similarly, ASCII value of smaller case A is 97 till the ASCII value of Z is 122. Now the difference is 32, 97 minus 65 is 32. If a user inputs capital letter, add 30 to it, 32 to it get, to get the smaller case letter, okay? Now the last, last part of it, to obtain the biggest of three numbers, we'll be using ternary operator here. The green highlight is the nested ternary operator. So the condition, if A is greater than B and C, then A is of course biggest. In the nested ternary condition, if B is greater than C, then return B or else return C. That's it, very simple. So we will be using the same formulas in our C program and we'll display the result onto the console window. So first thing, let's display a menu to the user to select the options. So the first thing is find arithmetic mean of two numbers. Let me copy and paste this. The second one was to find absolute value of a number. And the third one is to convert uppercase letter to lowercase. Convert up, uh, uppercase letter to lowercase. And the fourth one to find biggest of three numbers. Find biggest of three numbers. Now let me ask the user to enter his choice. So enter your choice and I'll store it inside the address of an integer variable choice. Let me declare that first. It's an integer variable int of choice. So as you might have already guessed, we need to write a switch case statement from here. Okay, Switch of choice depends upon user choice. Now we have four cases. So let me have four cases here quickly copy and paste it. Let me even have a default case. And I'll display, please enter a valid choice. This default block executes only when user has entered wrong choice, anything else than one, two, three, and four. So now the first case to find arithmetic mean of two numbers. So I'll ask the user to enter two numbers. Scan F, let me take uh, two floating point variables A and B. So uh, floating point variables format specifier is percentage F. So let me store that inside address of A and B. So let me first declare it float of A comma B. So now let me print out the result inside printf itself. So arithmetic mean, let me print out the result directly. So percentage, 0.2 f 0.2 because we want only two digits after the decimal point so i'll write mean of a b so we need to define mean of a b now and break out of this case once it's done so let me define the macro mean of a b so this macro takes two arguments that is a and b so simple now the macro expansion is very simple a plus b divided by 2.0. 2.0 because A and B are floating point numbers. So for a couple of inputs, if you give, if you divide by, by an integer, 
like 2 it will give wrong result so make sure to divide it by double value which is 2.0 so that's it for the first case first choice let me copy this and paste it here so our second option is to find absolute value of a number so let me ask the user to enter an integer number integer number can be positive numbers or negative numbers but can't be floating point numbers okay so let me take an integer variable here percentage d is the format specifier for integer so num so let me output the result directly onto the console window that is absolute value of percentage d inside modulo symbol is percentage d that's how it's represented mathematically mathematically so i'll write a b s of i'll pass num to it the user entered number so now we need to define this macro abs absolute value so again it's very simple we need to just return a positive value if user has entered negative value so uh, let me make use of ternary operator once again so let me check if number is greater than zero that means it's positive in that case return the number itself or else num into minus one that would return positive value we also have abs built in method inside sgdlib.h uh, library file but i don't think there is a necessity to include all the file elements to use this single method so i am writing it for myself so the third case convert uppercase alphabet to lowercase so i'll ask a user to enter a uppercase alphabet enter a uppercase alphabet we are working with characters so we need a character type variable now care of ch let me take a variable ch here of type character so percentage c is the format specifier so let me check if user has entered uppercase alphabet or not again there will be a bug since user enters the choice the user will be displayed with this this menu user makes a choice if he enters three here and hits enter button that enter or the new line character will be taken by this percentage c because that new line the enter will be stored in the device buffer which will be taken by this percentage c so in order to fix that bug we will clear the flush by using f of flush and passing stdin to it or else if you don't want to use this f of flush you can remove that and introduce a space here that tells the scanf that expect a new line character before user enters a new character from the keyboard so we'll leave for f of flush itself from he for here so i'll check if user has entered capital letter alphabet so capital letter alphabet has an ascii value of 65 and ca and uh, capital letter z has an ascii value of 90 so if user entered character lies between this including 65 and 90 then let me convert that to lowercase alphabet so simple let me pass the character entered by the user if the user entered character doesn't lie in between this then i'll display a message that is enter a valid uppercase alphabet this is very simple you just need to know the ascii values of capital a and capital z as well as smaller case a and smaller case z so let me define this as define of upper of ch so we have a difference of 32 here so ch plus 32 would give smaller uh, case alphabet of whichever uppercase alphabet the user has entered so that's it so that's it so let us check for the fourth option which is to find biggest of three numbers so let me copy and paste this quickly I don't want to waste anybody's time so enter three numbers we have two floating point variables let me declare one more maybe c so we need to have 
another percentage f here so let me declare this variable floating point variable c first or else it will start throwing errors so now let me display the result biggest number is percentage 2.0.2 f i'll take I'll name it biggest and pass three numbers entered by the user that is A, B and C. Let me define this macro now. So let me come here ash define of biggest of A, B, C. Now let me use nested ternary operator once again as I showed you in the introduction of this video. So let me have nested ternary operator here. So in the outer ternary operator the condition A is greater than B and a is greater than c in that case return a because a is a should be bigger in the nested ternary let me bring this whole nested ternary in the new line using macro continuation operator which is backslash so if b is greater than c then return b or else return c so that's it that's it i guess let us check that by compiling and running the program so I'll select one, finding arithmetic mean of two numbers. That's the first choice. So I'll enter 20 and 30 maybe. So 20 plus 30 is 50, 50 divisible by two gives 25. So arithmetic mean is 25. Okay, so we could spot some inconvenience here. We need to exit this command line, command prompt and then execute, run this program once again. To avoid that, let's use do while loop. So do whatever is present inside do block executes at least once and it keeps on executing if this repeat is one or true. The value of repeat is one or true. Okay. So let me cut this entire block of code and paste it inside the do block. Okay. Let me align this a bit. Now at the end, let's ask the user if he wants to repeat this execution of this block of code. So I'll ask the user, do you want to continue? And let's hint the answer that is zero or one. Programmers usually know zero means false and one means true. So that won't make any difference. That's, um, that hint is sufficient, I guess. So now user enters value for this variable repeat if it's one then this whole code repeats or else the control exits this do while loop so a new line character before showing the menu once again this menu once again so let us save this compile and run this program so let me start with first option again so let me enter 20 and 30 once again so 25 is the arithmetic mean, repeat the code, select two now. I'll give five as integer number to find absolute value. So let me select one once again. Now find absolute value of negative five, which should be five once again, and it's working. So let us check for the third to convert uppercase letter to lowercase. So let me give an uppercase letter S and it should be converted to smaller case letter S. Yes, it's working, but the but the labeling here to uppercase is wrong. Let me change that to, to lower. So I'll give zero and exit this. Where is my code? Let me convert to lower and this upper to lower too. That won't make any difference, but for the purpose of clarity, let me rename that to lower too. Okay. Now let me give three once again to convert uppercase to lowercase i'll give yes so it converts to lowercase yes once again i'll give three itself and then give some uh, smaller case letter and it says it's not uppercase so net now find biggest of three numbers so i'll give 20 30 and 40 now 40 is the biggest of three numbers so let me exit this command prompt so that's it so this is how we make use of macros to find mean of two numbers, absolute value, and to convert uppercase to lowercase, and to find biggest of three numbers. Hope that helps.
please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog share this video with your friends on whatsapp telegram linkedin twitter facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you